What's up everyone? If you would like to know a quick way to get smooth body parts and specifically your arms and legs without shaving, then keep watching this video. What's up guys? I am Elizabeth and I am the Minister of Beauty and I share the Bible that is business, inspiration, beauty, life, and enjoyment. Now as a licensed esthetician, I definitely recommend professional methods of body hair removal, okay? I'm definitely one of those, but I am here to say that there are times when you are in a pinch, you really just need to get some smooth body parts. You did not get a chance to schedule your appointment with your hair removal specialist. Hopefully that is a licensed esthetician. <laughs> and hey, if it is a licensed cosmetologist that specializes in that and they have the proper training, then more power to them. But I am here to say that there are times when you may not have gotten a chance to get in to get that professional body waxing service done and you need to get to the beach. The weather is getting warmer, it's getting hotter. You have the urge to get out to the pool, to get to the beach wherever it is to show some skin and you have some crazy areas going on, okay? I get it. Now, here to just be transparent and share some things with you guys, I have dealt with some fuzzy arm hair for as long as I have had body hair, okay? <laughs> and so, hair removal for me many years ago, it wasn't something that my mom was very fond of she believed the myths that exist out there and they still exist to this day where you will hear someone say, if you remove your body hair, then it is going to come back thicker. That is an absolute myth. There is no truth behind that myth, but it is something that a lot of people believe. It's an old wives tale. It's an old myth, flat out, plain and simple. There is no truth to the fact that if you remove your body hair, it's going to come back thicker. So do not believe those lies. Do not believe the hype, okay? But I digress. When it comes to hair removal, there are a lot of different methods. And the methods that I highly recommend as a licensed esthetician would be either professional body waxing, because when you do have that professionally done, it does tend to slow down the hair growth for most people. And also it helps with the, the hair patterns of growth being more of a routine where you can get it down to you know when you need to get in and it's typically once a month, okay? And then there's also laser hair removal if you are a candidate for it. Some people are not really good candidates for laser hair removal. There are different types of labor lasers and there are some that are not good for different skin types, different skin colors. So you have to be very careful with that and you have to make sure you're going to someone who knows what the heck they are doing and they are licensed. They are very well trained and they have some experience under their belt. So that's not something that you want to play games with and I would really not recommend going the Groupon route because you just never really know what you're going to get. Not knocking any business that uses a Groupon, but I'm just saying your body is your temple. It is very important that you're going to someone who knows what they're doing and they really care about you. And somebody who's offering a laser hair removal via a Groupon, they're probably just wanting to get some more regular people coming in, but they're not really specifically focused on what you really need in terms of your hair removal. So getting back to what I was talking about, having the fuzzy arms, okay? <laughs> being someone who is a licensed esthetician and just being very busy with my own schedule, a lot of times it's hard for me to get in with a team member who works in my business or maybe even going to someone else who works at a different business. So 
I just have to do what I have to do and just get it taken care of myself. I can wax my own arms. I have waxed my own body parts before. I've even done my own bikini and Brazilian waxes before. Not something I love to do myself, but if I've had to do it, then I've done it. And I just ripped that hair away and just grinned and bared it, but it was not the easiest thing to do. I mean, it's like, who wants to torture themselves? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Body hair removal should not be torture, but when you're doing it to yourself, it's hard to just rip that hair away and and be okay with that. It's like a lot of second guessing and you know second thoughts, should I or shouldn't I? But once you lay that wax down, you've gotta take it off. Well, this is something that helps in a pinch if you really just need to get some hair removal done and you have not had a chance to get in with your professional service provider. And the product that I recommend is a hair removal depilatory cream called VEET. That's spelled V-E-E-T. And I have used VEET for many, many years now. This is a hair removal cream that you apply to your body parts. You allow it to sit for a few minutes and then you remove it. And you have to just be very careful with it. And sometimes if you have very sensitive skin, you may need to do a patch test on an area just to make sure you're not gonna have an allergic reaction to it. And it's going to be safe for your skin because not all bodies are created equal and you can develop an allergy to anything at any time, even if it is something that you have used in the past. So getting smooth arms is something that I really love to do, especially when the weather gets warmer and hotter and I'm showing a little bit more skin. So for someone like myself, where the body hair on my arms, it is darker than my skin color, it's more noticeable. There are many people that have fuzzy arms where you can't really see the hair unless you're looking up close because the color of the hair, it either blends in with their skin color or it is even lighter than what their skin color is. But for me, the hair, it is darker than my skin color. So I like to have it removed. So the way I apply it is an even layer of the cream to the areas, but you just apply it. You do not want to rub it in because it is not body lotion, okay? You're not trying to moisturize your skin. You're just trying to put this product on your body so that you can remove it. And you want to, if you're going to use bare hands, immediately wash this off of your hands. So I actually use gloves. I love to use gloves, disposable gloves, when I'm even doing my skincare treatment services for myself, but definitely when I am applying this product to my body, I'm going to use gloved hands. You leave the cream on your skin for about five minutes, and then you want to remove it. They have as directions on the bottle to remove it with a wet cloth, but what I do is there is a product that comes with the V product and it looks like a blade, but it's actually plastic. I actually really do love using this. So I would use this when I'm in the shower and I allow the water to rinse my skin and I will use this plastic blade in the opposite direction of the body hair growth and that will just swipe the cream and the hair away from my skin and then I'm going to rinse my body thoroughly making sure all of that product is removed. You don't want it to have any of the cream left on your body. And once you have removed it, then what I do is I begin to shower myself. But you don't wanna mix any of your cleanser, your body cleanser, your soap, whatever you're using in the shower with any of the cream. So you always wanna make sure that all of the cream is completely removed from your skin before you begin to cleanse your body. And once that is complete and you're done with the shower and you've cleansed your body, then you can get out and just check all of the areas and make sure that you have removed the hair from all of those areas. So when I need to get hair removal done and I have not had a chance to get in with a team member in my business or maybe even go to another business to schedule a hair removal service with body waxing, then I'm going to just do this because it's quick. For me, my schedule is usually very busy and so getting it done when I can get it done is ideal and this product works absolutely well for me. 
I have not had an allergic reaction to it, thankfully, but you want to make sure that you're not going to have an allergic reaction to the formula in the V product. So making sure that you uh, will apply it to a small area and do a patch test just to make sure that you're not going to break out or have an allergic reaction or, you know, it breaks the skin down and causes an open wound or anything like that because that can happen. If you look at the the cautions on the bottle and those are things that can happen so you just have to be very very careful with it but I've used this for many years it works really well and as a depilatory cream what it does is it's literally dissolving the hair from the surface of the skin so it is not like waxing where it's going to remove the hairs from the follicles to one slow down the hair growth and also to um, you know get the hairs on a more regular growing pattern where you're going in every one you know once a month usually to get a body waxing service done with depilatory creams you're usually going to see smoothness for about a week or so so this is something that you will have to continue to do if you want to keep this up and that's why I do recommend professional body hair removal methods over this but this is something that works quickly it works in a pinch and it works well for me so I do recommend it but it, again it is something that you have to keep up with but I would prefer doing this over shaving I don't like using blades on my skin I shaved before it's been a very long time since I've shaved anything but this is a cream that I can use in a pinch and I do use it on my arms like I'm showing you in this video but I've also used it on my legs I've even used it on my bikini area but again you have to be very careful with that you don't want to get it on any private areas and you know what I mean by that hopefully but yeah just making sure you're not applying this to any area where there are openings like the private area and you know being careful with I don't recommend using this on the face at all at all okay but just being very careful with this cream so that's it for this video again Veet hair removal cream the depilatory cream that dissolves unwanted hair on a lot of the parts of your body it really does work in a pinch for me I would highly recommend over any depilatory cream on the market Veet over anything else Many, many, many years ago, I did use Nair, which is, it's been very popular over the years, but I've had bad reactions to Nair before, so I would never use that product again. So I definitely don't recommend Nair if it's even still on the market, because to be honest up with you, I'm not even sure. But Veet definitely works well for me. So if this is something that you have used before, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about this or anything else, let me know in the comment section guys i really appreciate you liking this video leave any comments again for me and i will definitely get back to you in the comment section so guys thank you so much for liking commenting and subscribing this is elizabeth the minister of beauty here to share the bible that is business inspiration beauty life and enjoyment so until the next time i hope you all have an amazingly blessed and beautiful day